Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book, Buffett, a creation by Roger Lowenstein. Buffett, 1995, recounts the story of Warren Buffett, tracing his journey from a young boy delivering newspapers for the Washington Post to his triumph as one of the newspaper's principal shareholders. Yet, his accomplishments extend beyond this. Presently, Buffett stands as one of the wealthiest individuals in the world and a prominent philanthropist. Discover the path he took to reach such heights and learn about the way he harnesses a distinct blend of diligent labor, unwavering commitment and prudent spending. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Roger Lowenstein, a journalist and graduate of Cornell University, has had his writings published in prestigious outlets such as the New York Times Magazine and the Wall Street Journal. Notable among his published works are the highly successful books The End of Wall Street and America's Bank, the epic struggle to create the Federal Reserve. With six key ideas to unveil, Brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book. On StoryPlane.net To start, this text is likely advertising or promoting a story or documentary about the journey of a successful investor. It suggests that by following this person's story, readers or viewers will gain valuable insights and potentially learn how to become successful in investing themselves. Warren Buffett is a well-known billionaire with a low-key profile and beloved status. These summarizer provide an overview of his life, from growing up in Omaha to becoming the richest man in the world. They also discuss his unique investment sense, including his first stock trade as a child and the investment philosophy that influences all of his investments. Berkshire Hathaway is the company most associated with Buffett. Key idea number one, Warren Buffett, from Omaha, Nebraska, had a strong focus on money from a young age. Warren Buffett was born in 1930 during the Great Depression, which shaped his views on money and security. His father's successful business inspired his interest in investment and entrepreneurship. At a young age, he made his first profit by buying and selling stocks and pursued various entrepreneurial activities to afford his investments. Warren was also a dedicated student, graduating in the top 3% and continuing his education at the Wharton School of Finance and Commerce. Key idea number two, Buffett started his investment career and found his mentor while attending Columbia Business School. Warren Buffett, a straight A undergrad student, was rejected by Harvard Business School but accepted to Columbia Business School. At Columbia, he studied under economist Benjamin Graham, who taught him his unique approach to investing. Graham's philosophy involved determining a company's intrinsic value and buying stocks that were undervalued. Buffett embraced this philosophy and eventually worked for Graham's investment firm, where he became a star employee. One of his notable deals involved profiting from the skyrocketing price of cocoa. Key idea number three. Buffett started his own business in Nebraska at the age of 26. Warren Buffett, not enjoying city life, returned to Omaha to raise his family. He formed his own investment partnership, Buffett Associates, and successfully invested in undervalued companies. He outperformed the Dow Jones Industrial Average and purchased controlling interest in a struggling windmill company, turning it into a profitable venture. By 1965, at just 35 years old, Buffett's portfolio was worth $22 million. Key idea number four, Warren Buffett became involved with Berkshire Hathaway in 1962. In 1964, Warren Buffett purchased controlling interest in Berkshire Hathaway, a struggling textile manufacturer. Despite the textile division's low profitability, Buffett saw the company's intrinsic value and bought as much stock as he could. Over time, Berkshire Hathaway became a successful holding company for Buffett's other ventures, such as National Indemnity Co., which earned significant profits. By 1969, Buffett dissolved his original Omaha partnership and focused on Berkshire Hathaway. 
Under his leadership, the company's stock price soared from $7.60 per share in 1962 to 95 Vamage per share in 1966. During this period, Buffett also fulfilled his dream of owning a newspaper by becoming the largest outside shareholder of the Washington Post. Despite his success, Buffett continued to pay himself a modest salary of 50 shucks per year. Key idea number five. Warren Buffett experienced a significant increase in his wealth during the 1980s. In the 1980s, Warren Buffett shifted his investment philosophy to focus on bigger, recognizable companies like the Washington Post and Geico. He expanded his view to include a company's entire brand and its intrinsic value. Reagan's economic policies, including cutting interest rates, led to a boom in stock prices and Berkshire Hathaway's stock rose along with the market. Buffett's net worth increased from $140 million to $620 million, and he made Forbes' billionaire list in 1985. Key idea number six. Buffett is not a typical wealthy Wall Street billionaire. Warren Buffett, the billionaire investor, defies the stereotype of excessive wealth by living in a modest house and not indulging in luxury. He boycotted the local Rotary Club for its discrimination, which led him to become a Democrat and support Democratic campaigns. Despite benefiting from tax cuts for the rich, Buffett criticizes them as welfare for the rich. He has taught his children to be self-reliant and has decided to donate most of his fortune to charity, primarily to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. His commitment to philanthropy is one of the largest in history. In conclusion, Warren Buffett, mentored by Benjamin Graham, understood the difference between a company's actual value and its selling price. His ability to discern this, along with staying consistent and having a strong grasp of numbers, helped him accumulate a fortune of over $66 billion. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on StoryPlanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on StoryPlanet.net.